Bacchus Marsh residents west of Melbourne are tonight rallying against a proposal for toxic soil from the Westgate Tunnel project to be dumped Ginger. near the If town. contaminated soil from the Westgate Tunnel project is dumped near Bacchus their Marsh school... is under threat from a proposal to dump soil contaminated with the toxic chemical known as PFAS. The discovery of soil, soil contaminated with chemicals known to as PFAS. PFAS chemicals. PFAS By PFAS chemicals. Growing PFAS uh, scandal. Uh, I understand it's a product that's toxic called PFAS. P hyphen capital F A S and uh, PFAS. But, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. Now we're dealing no, with the PFAS, just as you are. It is the largest emerging contaminant. Now let's in not beat around America. the bush here. The chemicals are toxic. And danger posed by PFAS chemicals is well established. It's led to a hundred lawsuits alleging cancer, Show miscarriages, PFAS even three deaths. Can cause developmental, liver, Imagine and kidney having complications. To live with the worry about the possible long-term health effects for you or your children, when studies show those chemicals may be linked to and cancer. That's not a complete list of cause cancer and it can cause birth defects and that's when we started to get more and more concerned about them bringing it out here to our community. Transurban, the company overseeing the Westgate Tunnel Bridge build, says that the level of PFAS in the soil is low. And so I'll say low grade levels. because that is the advice. It's a low grade, low risk. Low levels of PFAS are still harmful. It's still determining exactly how dangerous these Even chemicals can be. Even much smaller concentrations of the chemical can but be dangerous. But because of their chemical properties, they tend to accumulate in Tissues These are in the forever body. chemicals that do not break down. They accumulate in human tissue. If you continue to be exposed, you will build up the concentrations in your body. The information is there's no safe levels of exposure to this stuff. And we advise everyone to reduce their exposure to PFAS. They're saying it is quite safe. Nobody believes what they're saying, but it's safe. Leaked test results show contamination levels between 112 and 2,000 times the acceptable amount. Now the fact is that soil is uh, toxic. The fact is the soil has got PFAS contaminants and likely other contaminants too. While the state government insists a site has not been chosen, the local council fears it's a done a deal. A government spokesperson confirmed the site was being considered but says a decision um, hasn't been made. And there has been no decision made no at all in relation to the And there's no decision there. There's many been meetings made. going on many discussions going on, no decision has been made about where this PFAS soil goes. The tip is that some of the contaminated soil from the Westgate Tunnel project is quietly being dumped uh, in the middle of the night. There's already a steady stream of trucks hauling rubbish to this site west and of Melbourne. And everybody is asking, what are they dumping already? It's been going into muddling brown coal, we can all see it going in, it's being piled up in massive high piles right next to the Powell Creek. Nearly caught red-handed. The government will not confirm whether any of the dumped soil is contaminated. In line with practice, it's been happening for some time now on the Westgate Tunnel Project site with the movement of soil to various licensed landfill locations around the city. EPA is Victoria's environmental regulator. It is our role to protect the environment and people from the harmful effects of pollution and waste. We have rigorous regulations to ensure PFAS is safely managed, transported and disposed. The safety of the surrounding community is of course a priority. Applying the highest possible standards. Complies with strict conditions. What a load of rubbish. The government has not been honest with the community. The EPA has not been honest with the community. The local council is angry at the lack of consultation. Written to the minister three times now and we've got donuts back. And that the EPA has refused to release many of these documents. Transurban has refused to comment. CPB and John Holland did not return our calls. Backers Marsh residents say they've been kept in the dark about the state government's plans for the toxic soil. But we haven't heard, this. we're hearing nothing from the government. This demonstrates a lack of transparency. Lack of answers and lack of communication. Dan Andrews, your silence is deafening. deafening. And I think that the community would expect that a government not act in a secretive way with its special mates at Transurban. This was known before the multi-billion dollar contracts were signed. Tender for the project crews. Urban knew about it, the EPI knew about it, everybody knew about it. dangerous, toxic chemical. Everybody knew about it. No decision has been made about where this PFAS soil goes. No one in their right mind would want this in their backyard. Never mind in a place which is potential to leak into the riverways that feed a whole community and feed the whole of Victoria. The community here has vowed to fight this to the very end. Hey, toxic
1,500 people gathered to profess their anger and frustration at the lack of information, the lack of transparency about what's coming over here, because this is going to affect everybody if this goes ahead. A proposed site for the toxic soil from the Westgate Tunnel project is a few hundred metres from a Local school. Local parents say the children have been asking worried questions about their future health and safety. Please don't bring your toxic soil near our school. One of my children gets some type of cancer um, from these chemicals is, is absolutely petrifying. No project, regardless of how grand or important it might be, should be prioritised of the health and well-being of Victorians. Not only does this government ignore the concerns of these communities. The government has done next to nothing. People have tried to get the message through. The community is worried about health and environmental impact and wants further consultation. The case that the people that live in those areas have a right to know what's happened. The state government should not override legitimate council and community concerns by forcing them to have contaminated soil dumped in their backyard. We want to protect the people, we want to protect the food bowl that is um, feeding Melbourne, is feeding the rest of Australia. They should listen to the local community. You're telling me 440 metres away from a school is the best place to put a toxic dump? I don't think so. And I really hope that the state government reconsiders dumping this toxic or even deadly soil on Bacchus This Marsh. does not just affect Bacchus Marsh. This affects Victoria. This affects the whole of Australia. This is far from over.